just a quick run through of how to calculate the cost function when j equals zero. We've got our results there. We've got our training set with three values and we've set j to zero. We know that there's a zero slope on the line. So if we look at our cost function, where h of xi will always equal zero because at point one, it's zero, at point two, it's zero, and at point three, it's zero. Y, on the other hand, that's our actual data and our actual results. Uh, y at one equals one. Y at two equals two, and at three equals three. So when we loop through this equation three times, because m equals three, we've got three results, we will just transfer the values into this equation and sum them up. So the first thing we'll do, we'll deal with the one over two m, which calculates at one over six, which equals 0 0.1666 reoccurring. Number two, let's deal with the, the h of xi. Um, this is the plotted value of our slope line at each x-axis point so it's this blue line here okay it's always zero and when we loop through this cost function it's going to loop through three times one two three times because there's three data points so the y is the plotted value for each red x or the values of our training set looking at the y-axis so our first one is at one second is at two and our third is it three? And why do we square the result? We square the result to make sure that we've got a positive result for every single iteration. So even if we have this value here will be a negative value. If we square it, it will become a positive value. So if we add negative two squared equals four. Okay, so how did this work out for, for the question? So let's substitute out some of the, the values in this cost function. So we know that 1 over 2m equals 0 0.1666. And we're going to times that by 0 minus 1. Where do we get the 0 from? From the h of x at point 1. So our slope is at 0 there, the, the dark blue line, which means 0. Our y point, our little red x, is at 1 at this point. So that's where we get 0 minus 1 will be negative 1 and we'll square that which will equal 1. We'll do the same for number our second iteration. Okay h of x is at 0 2. y is at 2 so it's 0 minus 2. We square that it gives us 4 and on the third iteration again our j0 at point 3 is at 0 again because it's a flat line. We go up our y value is 3 so it's 0 minus 3 equals negative 3 and if we square that it'll give us positive 9 so if we substitute that out it's 0 0.1666 times 14 because it's 1 plus 4 plus 9 and that gives us 2.33 so j of 0 equals 2.33 okay